work sessions, the laboratories. And then I had an additional thing. Every night, uh, five days a week, I went to the lecture hall and tutored everybody who came for three hours. And about 50 of my 300 students would come. But it, was a, it was a tough course. And I was sitting downtown one time, one day in La Jolla at a bar hamburger shop, and a guy came up to, with some grad students, and the guy came up and joined our table, a formidable looking black man. He sat down. He was a professor in the third college, which was just being built at UCSD. And the third college was just for minorities. So this guy sits down at the table, and he talks black power, third world politics, and I'm just quiet, you know, what can I do? But then we started talking about education. And I said, well, you know, in my class, I don't pay attention to race, background, nothing. If they learn chemistry, fine. If they don't, they don't get out of it. They don't pay us. And this guy looks at me and he says, you're right. He says, your course is tough. I know because I'm t tutoring two students in your course. <laughs> but our worst enemies are these white liberals that come over to the third college and teach watered down classes to our students and turn them into permanent second class citizens. He knew. The only difference today is they're turning all of our students into second class citizens. We have to stop. That's the way it is. <laughs>